Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning about how to create different shapes in the, our labels. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's create, let's first create a rectangle, a graphic box, as we say in ZPL. So we'll start. Uh, right over somewhere here if you want that will be easy like and then x coordinate we can go is like 100 okay gb gb stands for graphical box so this is the command what you'll be using to create a box graphical box now the graphical box a box have now basically two param three parameters okay so one is like width you want like width say 10 and then height be uh, 10 okay and then let's the thickness be 2 okay and we'll have a fill separator over here now when you hit the array draw over here you'll see a box appear okay since it's a just 10 by 10 it's very small let's give it a hundred by hundred it'll look better see since it's like equal width and height are equal it's a square let's make it a rectangle so let's give this as 200 see this is how we create a box in zpl zebra programming language okay and this this is the third parameter which is used to increase the uh, borders thickness okay the more you give the more darker it will become towards inside not outside okay remember that towards inside not outside let's just skip 10 see inside and if you give it like say 100 it will cover the whole box so you have a graphical box okay i'll help you to create more different steps okay after rectangle we did square also all you have to do is skip this to same, uh, same height and width okay there's a fourth parameter also okay that is for just color black and white okay if you mention if you don't mention it's just black but if you mention w that is white okay it will print a white it vanishes here because the background itself is white and the white printed over here does not make a difference so if you want to specify you have to give like b and if you again print it it will come back but if you don't give it's not a problem by default it will be a black okay now give now let's create a circle for you fill origin same thing we'll start at the extraordinate only and go below like 200 below y okay since this is on 100 we'll go a little bit more downwards so since it's a good box or so gb we used graphical box now we have to use circle so simple g c and what does a circle need a diameter will give a diameter of 100 only okay and diameter we have then to be circle and then we have to give just the thickness okay of course give the fill separator when you draw it see for 10 it is like this and if you give 100 that depends on you how, how you like see How cool is it this is the second shape the third shape you can go for like zero only and we'll by 300 okay and then uh, we'll make an eclipse g e you guessed it right just g e okay and eclipse needs eclipse is something like this right so we need a uh, height as well and the width as well so we'll just follow the same you know same way how we created this uh, let's just give width as 200 and height as 100 and we of course will give the thickness for now we'll give it like minimum so that it will be visible for you, visible for you. okay and same goes for black i don't want to do that again okay. So when you redraw it we have eclipse and if you want to make like full just give it a hundred 
it will fully con convert into black eclipse looks cool huh? okay like these are the general shapes what you want okay what you will be needing let's create one more it's, it's not that much required but it's a good thing to have zero only and then we will go for like 400 and then we'll be drawing a diagonal so gd diagonal will give a x coordinate y coordinate okay and the thickness of course we need the orientation because some I, either i want to draw a diagonal like this or like this that should be mentioned right so for that also we have a parameter so we'll start with uh, let's just say we'll give 100 comma 50 this is your like width height in it thickness so thickness will for now will give like zero let's just get open because i want to see just line right now you can again you know make a big one dark one one like all this thing okay now this uh, this i had okay for now i'll show you like this only so that you'll have a clear understanding when i want to change the orientation for this so see this is a diagonal right now we have this width okay this is the width and this is the height okay so this is how it is like first it tried to draw over here this was with 100 and then it took like 50 above so it's like 50 height okay and zero is a darkness i'm mean like thickness if you give more then it will be a little bit darker if you want to try you can give it a try so see as you can see okay next thing is color I don't want to do that let's give it an empty if you still want you can simply mention B and then the orientation right now you can see that this is growing like this right and this is going toward right and if you want something like this then you have to mention L left I can to specify right by default it is right but if you don't want see how cool is that so we have the shapes over here right so thank you guys like i have been working on this zebra programming tutorial like very hard and if you still want me to go on and on about this language or some other language please help my channel to grow subscribe to my channel try to comment like what you if you, if you have any doubt comment on it I'll, I'll try to answer each and every question of yours if if not then i'll at least i'll give you you know like at least the clear clearance about it like what what can be done if you don't find any answer okay i'll try to help you or like to find alternatives for what what we know and what we don't know so these are the steps what you want to what you want to have you know knowledge so that you can uh, create a good customized level of yours so in the next videos i'll be you know i can help you uh, to design more stuff okay i'll i'll do some a special command video okay in that you'll you'll learn some cool tricks okay how to merge this two diagram at once okay uh, one one uh, how to write within a box okay these are just black box right now but if you want to write something like this like a box will be there and you have to write the data like reshop shower inside it okay i can help you with that also so in the next upcoming videos that will be my meaning okay in the next coming videos i'll be i'll help you to create the barcode okay so thank you guys thank you for watching my videos Peace out.